welcome back to Cumberwin. The pair of us are back here today to check on the cameras that I set up last time. It's a couple of weeks later, so um, we'll see what we get. I've got my laptop with me today, so I'm going to take my laptop down into the woods and I'll check the cameras where they are. And depending on what we've got, I've got a couple of actions I could take. I might, uh, if there are no squirrels at all, then I've got some bait with me. I'll put some bait out in front of the cameras. We don't normally do this, but we're fairly confident that Cumberwin doesn't have any grey squirrels here, so it should be safe to do that. Um, if I do pick up any grey squirrels, then I'll take the cameras down because that's all we need to know for now. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll see what we've got. The wood warbler's been singing to me again already and uh, lots of other bird song already. It's a really nice day, so yeah, we'll see what we get. So I'm just heading in. I've not even got that far. The clearing um, parked just up there. And I've just come down here, I've got my bait bucket, and already I'm starting to see more signs than I did last time. This is so one of these quite small, classic squirrel chewed cone. You've got bits sticking off the outside. Um, it's done from one end, they haven't quite got to the top. So I've just come a little bit further downhill and I found another really nice scroll chewed cone. So again, it's got bracts sticking off the sides, most of its scales have gone, um, but otherwise a pretty clean job all the way up to the top. So I think I'm gonna put a camera here. I, uh, I won't bait it now until I've checked the others because I don't want to risk drawing gray squirrels um, into an area and red squirrels into the same area, anything like that. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few feeding signs here, so I'm going to put a camera up on one of these trees, um, mark it down. I might come back in a few minutes and put some bait in front of it, depending on what the other cameras have picked up. Just come back to this camera here, just pointing at these um, scales, scales on the floor here. So let's have a look what we've got. Adding this bit in from the office, two of the cameras had over 200 images on them each, so I won't make you sit through all of that. I'll just share the highlights with you now. Uh, we managed to get a fox and roe deer, uh, lots of bird life, including red starts, which was really exciting, jays, chaffinches, and other birds. And we did get red squirrels. Importantly, also, no grey squirrels were found on any of the cameras. On. What I might do with this one, because it didn't have too many clips, I might change this one onto video mode. Some of those red squirrel shots were really good. So, uh, 10 second videos, ultra high quality, delay 10 seconds. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get some nice red scroll shots. And I wouldn't mind it too much if there's some nice red start shots as well. So I've got a bait bucket, I've got some cob nuts, which are Red Squirrel's real favourites, but I don't think I'll use those here just yet. But we've got a mix of maize, dried corn and um, whole peanuts, unsalted. I'm just going to do a healthy scattering. Right, so we've got another camera. Um, base on the floor, the dog again, normally by the second time we've gone back and forth or four or five cameras in, she just starts to have a little cat nap. Yeah, she's just got her eyes closed there. It's a long day for an old dog. So now we'll just head back to, up to the truck, head on home and uh, put in the data once again. Mm -hmm. 